I'm not even going to complain that the goal was offside because Feyenoord you know, deserved it. All right, they weren't great, but they at least wanted to win. We didn't want to win. We invited pressure onto them. We showed them the respect as though they were Barcelona or Real Madrid and allowed them to play in their, their own half. You know, when we did this against Man City, fair enough, Man City have world-class players. Um, you know, De Bruyne Silva were, were linking it up and you think even though we were absolutely dire in that, you know, you can kind of see why we allowed them to have the ball um, and dictate the play. But with Feyenoord, like, what? Why are you doing that? Like, a 4-3-3 we actually went with, not a 4-2-3-1, a 4-3-3, and it made no difference. And because there was no runners, like, Rashford might as well have been stood on Mars for all the, you know, service he got. 25 yards of space in between him for most of the game and every other player. He's trying to tell them, come forward, you know, get some players in there. We had Schneidlin in this game. So, you know, Pogba, Herrera, Martial, Mata... It's, there's no need for them to be sitting in their own half, waiting. And when they got the ball, it was just three, four touches, and then there's no runners, so you have to pass it sideways or backwards. And um, it was just pathetic. Like, there was just nothing. I mean, in the first half, we had one chance, and typically it's a carbon copy of the goal Feyenoord actually scored. And it's Martial. Uh, he gets the ball. Well, uh, Damian actually gets the ball, crosses it in. It's a great opportunity. If Martial looks up, he sees the entire left-hand side of the goal is free. He would have scored. He didn't look up. He, he just hit it, hit it in a, um, to the right, and it went wide. And the goalkeeper, that was the keeper's side because the goalkeeper was stood there. But um, when Feyenoord got that same ball in, the, the player looked up, saw David De Gea was kind of slightly towards the right, and he went left and scored. And uh, that, that was the difference maker. Like, we didn't deserve to win. We only actually showed effort. Like, that, that's... That's one thing I just don't understand. Yeah, you can probably criticise Jose Mourinho for a lot of it, but the players just didn't seem to be asked. Like, there, there was nothing. I mean, in the second half, fair enough, at least Pogba's trying to run for it. Again, pretty ineffectual, but everyone, they, you know, Herrera's running back to try and get a tackle in, but then he's just standing there waiting for runners, and there's no runners, and it just didn't make sense. And then when final do go 1-0 up, the last 10 minutes, we actually pile pressure on and we have like three or four chances in the last few minutes. And if we'd done that all game, we would have won this game. If we'd have actually pressed City in the game against Man City, you know what I mean. Like if we'd have pressed and actually not let them dictate the play and get the ball in their own half and, well, in their own half. It was in our half because they were pressing us so high. If we didn't let them do that, then perhaps we would have got something from that game as well. But... This game, it just didn't even look as though we wanted to win. Like, no one really showed desire, apart from Rashford, who was isolated. He, you know, he was trying things. They didn't pay off, but at least he was trying. And then we subbed on Ibra, Young, and Memphis. Honestly, Memphis Depay, oh my god. Like, come on. I know he's trying to make an impression, but two chances he had. And he just, he's shooting instantly. As soon as he gets the ball, he's shooting. He's not. Oh, my bad. He's not looking for anything else. Like Zlatan made a good run and Memphis shoots and it's blocked. He shoots again, it goes well over. Like his confidence has taken a massive hit and I'm sorry, we, we just can't afford passengers. Same as Rojo. I mean, he was only in there because Luke Shaw needs a rest. I mean, we don't want him to get another injury in uh, Holland, do we? So uh, yeah, Rojo. Oh my God. Like, oh, that guy is just terrible. Like, oh. Oh, what a terrible display. He he left the goal, uh, sorry, the cross for dead. Like, it came from his side. He was getting turned by Feyenoord's players. It, it was just terrible. And, um, yeah, pretty much everyone was pretty bad, to be fair. Uh, Smalling was okay. Um, uh, Smalling and Bay, well, they didn't really have too much to do. Although Feyenoord pressed and they had chances, they didn't really look as though they were going to score and it was a surprise when they did like we, we just couldn't be bothered that was the whole top and bottom of uh, our display we couldn't be bothered we showed no energy no determination to win and uh, we got what we deserved a loss like if we continue like this we'll be out in Europa which might help us in the Premier League but still we're in the tournament we played a strong lineup come on like show some desire I know it's not what we want but we're in it so go in to win it Oh my god, that is, we've lost. We've lost our first game and now 
we're going to have to pick up points if we want to get through. And uh, we've got some cluttered fixture schedules. I mean, we play Fenerbahce in between Liverpool, who we have on the Monday, and Chelsea, who we have on a Sunday. So Liverpool and Chelsea are going to be looking at that and thinking, you know what, we're fresh, no European football, we're going to take the game to them. And if we allow them to dictate the play like we have Man City and Feyenoord, we don't stand a chance. It doesn't matter who we've got. You know, all these players have obvious quality, but the way we're playing... It doesn't suit any of them, and everyone's being stagnated. So I hope Jose Mourinho actually looks at this, works out what the issue is, which is we're not pressing, we're not actually showing enough desire to win, we're not running. <laughs> Essentially, that's what I'm going on about. We're not running, we're not creating things. So, um, yeah, no need to panic yet, even though first loss, we just lost against the Derby. Uh, sorry, we lost the Derby, we've lost our first game in Europa, but... We just need to look in the future and just change things and actually show desire. But I'm just I'm just saying the same things over and over again because I'm kind of shocked. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to end the video here. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.